Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last month I posted a video that CPUs without the SSE 4.2 instruction will not be able to upgrade to Windows 11 24H2. And this also um, applied to CPUs without the POP CNT population count instruction. And those are quite old CPUs and I'll leave that video in the end screen if you'd like some more info. Now just to let you know that Microsoft has recently announced over on their Microsoft Learn website that starting with version 126 of Microsoft Edge, we are currently sitting on version 124, soon to be upgraded to version 125 um, towards the end of this week, maybe tomorrow or the next day. So starting with version 126, Microsoft Edge will also require a CPU with the SSE3 instruction set and newer. So what this means in a nutshell is that um, devices with CPUs that do not support SSE3 will be out of support and will not be able to run Microsoft Edge according to this new announcement. And if we head over to Microsoft Edge supported operating systems and we scroll down here uh, just a little bit to this update, recent changes on the uh, 13th, which was uh, two days ago in my region, they mentioned Microsoft Edge support on CPUs without SSE3 will be out of support in Edge version 126. And the last time this um, was um, updated was on the 12th of January last year, where they said Edge support for Windows 7, 8 and so on will end in Edge version 109. We are currently sitting on Edge version 124. So um, in, in more than a year, this is the first change they've made. Edge support on CPUs without SSE 3 will be out of support in Edge version 126. And um, Edge version 126 uh, is expected to roll out um, to the stable channel uh, in the week of June the 13th next month, 2024. And as mentioned, we are getting version 125 over the next day or so. Now, just to kind of put this all into perspective, because those are really old CPUs. So the earliest Intel processors with SSE3 will include the Pentium 4, Pentium D, Celeron D, and so on. And when it comes to AMD, that will be the Sempron, Opteron, Athlone 64, and others that were based on K8. So those are really old processors. And just on a side note, um, if you are on a system and you don't have a clue, if your CPU supports SSE 4.2, SSE 3, uh, Pop CNT, and all of that, what you can do, and I have posted a whole video on this previously, um, basically how you can check to see if your older hardware will support uh, version 24H2 of Windows 11, and this will also apply now to Microsoft Edge. You can download CPU Z, which is a free um, piece of software. You don't even have to install it onto your system. And you'll see here once this loads, and the, how to do all this will be in that video um, if you'd like to know. Yeah, you can see instructions, and there I have SSE 3, SSE 4.2, and so on. So those are the instructions that are required to be able to run Windows 11 24H2, and now also with the release of Edge 126 uh, next month, um, the same instruction, the SSE 3, um, will be required to be able to run Microsoft Edge. And I'm just putting it out there because obviously uh, we focus quite a bit on Microsoft Edge um, on this channel. And just also mentioning that that's really old CPU. So um, I don't think this will be affecting the majority. I think it will be affecting the minority, but just keeping you posted um, and up to date. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.